I was what came before words. A line from Minnie Bruce Pratt. I am, perhaps unfortunate, in that the separation of myself from the who I am in faith remains impossible, despite the distance of time. I am, despite the desire to divorce myself from my family, traditions, and rules, to break out and be my own man. I am, despite my excuses of I used to be, formerly was, grew up as, I am, breathe, breathe, whisper, Mennonite, was, still, my history bleeds through this heart, a pumpa, 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 I cannot escape, and if I could, if I could sharpen these fingernails, aim them at my left breast, then plunge them, pierce this flesh, splaying these incarcerating ribs apart, then, in wrapping my fingers around it, yank. Where would I be without my heart? Who would I be? How long would I live? Bleed. Pumpa, pumpa, pumpa. I'm incapable of forgetting who I am. I cannot be who I am not. I am despite the electronic current coursing through my house, despite the lack of a buggy in my barn, and despite my head unadorned by a black hat and beard. I am the product of 15 generations of pacifistic culture. I am Mennonite. I am who I am. This poem is probably the closest I came to ever writing a slam poem of sorts. And what this captures for me is in my 20s, I was really struggling with being Mennonite. In fact, I never wanted to return to Lancaster County. And uh, obviously I did, and I live there now. I live in the farm I grew up on. But for a while, I was really trying to get away from this idea of being Mennonite. I didn't want to have anything to do with the Mennonites or the culture I grew up in. And I wrestled for a long time to understand that while I am not my parents, not the church I grew up in, there are parts of that that remain with me and kind of are in my veins or in the blood that helps shape me and my beliefs of who I am. I've uh, since come to terms with that and understanding that the things that we grew up, that we run away from, they'll shape us even though we may not ascribe to everything or agree with everything that we once that we once believed in. And so this, again, is my maybe attempt at a slam poem, if you will. I wrote it before slam was really a thing, but it really does capture, again, the struggles that we sometimes have with not wanting to be our parents, maybe not wanting to be the faith we grew up with, and coming to terms that that has still shaped us, and there are things about it that are good that we shouldn't throw away. That first line, by the way, by Minnie Bruce Pat, comes from a poem called Chopping Peppers that she wrote, and I'll put a link down to it in the notes below.